goat's back in my garage, and I'm my garaging the shit out of it. Okay, I, uh, I, uh, I am working on this still. Um, I made a few bucks, not a lot. I got about $2,000 here. I'm thinking about taking on a couple of jobs before I do this. Um, I think, yeah, I think I might. I might take on a couple of jobs just to get a few extra bucks. I want to do some stuff to the engine today. But before we do that, I have this idea. Where is it? Oh, oh no, no. Where'd it go? I know you're around here. Where, oh, there you are. Okay. So, like I was talking to someone in the comments, people think I should paint it this color and that color and blah, blah, blah. And I got to thinking, all your ideas are terrible and mine are not. So, what we're going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do is this. Okay, so I'm going to correct these rust problems here. To some degree, I'm just going to do that right there. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, see if we get the rust off this panel. There, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. We might as well do it while we have the car in the air and we can easily reach some of these places. Because there's nothing worse than it's on the ground and you're trying to do this. And, and once you, you're using the, uh, the what do you call that thing? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Oh, crap. We can't reach it, can we? No. Okay, that stupid arm's in the way. Well, maybe if we get enough of this, it'll work. But anyway, I'm going to take this and I'm going to scrape her down to bare metal, hopefully. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like every challenger I've ever seen, aside from on television. Um, growing up in a small town, there's always a lot of these old farmer guys that uh, like having their muscle cars, right? And that's, you know, just part of the whole small town mythos is this everybody's got the car from when they were like 14 years old or 16 years old or whatever and you know their dad's car or whatever but nobody can ever afford to finish it <laughs> so there's you know there's always these cars that are half done projects so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna turn this into the half done project we're gonna call it mariana now because it's a challenger now if you don't understand the reference please tell me what you think my thinking is below uh, okay there we go I dare you, I, I want you to guess why I would call this car, this Challenger, Mariana. Uh, and it's a, oh God, what do we do? <laughs> do we, okay, no, we're fine. There we go. Apparently we're just, okay, there we go, here we go. There we are. So we're going to get the rust off of this, or at least a lot of it anyway. Like I said, I'm not looking for this car to be perfect. It's going to be just a thrashing machine. That's it. So the transmission's gone now, so that's excellent. And uh, we'll put this on here. There we go. So this gets rid of that. No, I thought I saw some rust. There it is. Uh, oh, that got rid of that. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I'm still going to do this whole bit of the pillar here. I don't see very much more rust. So then what we're going to do, like I said, I grew up in towns where this was like the norm where you saw the cars usually ran pretty good because mechanics are easy, right? Compared to body work. So we're going to go to color. We're going to go to, okay, we're going to go to, let's see. I don't want any of the red in it. No, that's like, okay, I just want, can I just do zero, 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 zero and get black? Yes, I can. All right. So perfect. Uh, no, I don't want to, I didn't want to buy that. And I'm going to buy about that color. Now, I don't need all this color, but here we go. So we're going to spray this in primer. <laughs> primer gray. Uh, does this kind of look like primer gray? I think this is close to primer gray. It's not perfect. But with a little bit of rust showing through in certain spots, because that's usually how the primer stuff goes, because they don't, they don't actually do anything with it for years, and then it starts to rust through the primer. And so we're going to just uh, prime what we can here with this primer here so it has that uh i've been working on it but i can't finish it because i don't have the money kind of look oh no oh no oh sugar okay well we can't re reach that can we okay stand up you freak stand up why will you not stand up okay okay let's have a moment all right here we go we're gonna just we're gonna get in here i can't quite reach that spot that's the problem with these roofs man okay there's that and that should, yeah, that gives it a nice kind of a uh, nice kind of feel where it's like, yeah, it's sort of done. What? 
Oh, you know what? Actually, I like that there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Now, does that not look like it's been primed? It's a little round, obviously, but I think it looks kind of good. Um, I might re. The car is originally black, so what I might do is get that color there. Colors. Well, it's not quite black. Whatever that is, zero a zero b zero b zero a zero b zero b. 0A0B0B. Got to remember that. 0A0B0B. Oops. Okay, is that, did we get the black? Okay, which one's this? Oh, here we go. Bob. We'll take Bob. Now, we got too much paint here, but I just want to, because I figure the panel wouldn't be oversprayed like this because you'd be working on one panel at a time. So we're just going to fix that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a little little overspray there but that's not bad all right here we go and down all right i think i think it's beautiful in a strange way <laughs> that's that small town feel to it <laughs> anybody who ever grew up in a small town is exactly what i what i'm talking about um it's same with the pink door i might i might take the door off and finish it off in pink because it didn't have any rust on it but let's actually I, I don't know what color pink that is so i have no idea what color that is so we may just leave that as is, but I like it. I think it has that weird appeal to it. Now, where were we today? Oh, yeah, we only have $700 because so we spent a bunch of money on paint, but we're going to get rid of these paints because we don't really need them, um, and they're just taking up space. What is that? Oh, it's a green paint back here. Get out of here. Okay, we're going to get rid of all these paints. They're not worth anything. Wait a minute. Didn't we have a garbage can in here? Didn't we have a garbage can? Okay, it doesn't matter. We're just going to get rid of these because I spent money on them, and I no longer need them, and they're just taking up space. And they just lay around the world and they just cause me problems because I'll step on them and then it does that weird bouncy thing and it's just a whole, it's a whole thing, right? Don't judge me. All right. Now, this doesn't mean at the end I won't change my mind and be like, you know what, actually, I'm going to paint a color on this. But at the moment, I don't see the point. It just looks, it's quite happy just to not be colored. And I kind of like awkward machines. So let's, uh, let's get to work here. Now, where were we? We're under the hood last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So what we need to do is first of all put these put this uh this camp shop sprocket back on because I didn't I didn't tighten it down. Uh someone pointed that out in the comments and you're right about that, but that's not a huge deal. Uh we also missed a bolt on here. So that's not a problem. Um this will be an easy fix. Now, once I find my wrench, which I know exactly where it is, it's right over where did i leave it it's, oh no, i remember do you remember i totally remember um do 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 is it on the floor underneath this thing oops up all the way please up green and we're up let's see i don't swear okay i, I don't normally lose my wrench like this has anybody seen my wrench? Hello? Hello, wrench? Are you in are you in here, wrench? I don't see. I might have to go buy a wrench. This is the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> Dude, quit getting stuck on the wall. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm a little bit weirded out by the fact there's no wrench here. Um oh wait a minute. Nope, that was a chair leg. Okay. It's probably right in front of me and I don't see it. Or not, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh all right, can we just go across the street and buy a wrench? I figure like we need to buy a wrench right now, and I don't have one. Yeah, we're just gonna buy buy a new wrench, I guess. Um, eleven dollars. What a waste of money. All right, give me this. I can't believe that we lost our wrench. This is somebody's fault, and it's not mine. Now, let's put that camshaft sprocket back on. Um, I wonder if it'd just be easier to work at it from under here. Let's just bring this up just a wee bit. Boop boop boop. Okay, let's see. It's the big part of the sprocket, so it'll be up top there. Oh, we're never going to get under there, are we? Hmm. Where'd I put my wrench? There it is. Okay, let me see. Ah. What What are we on here? Uh, loosen, tighten, tighten, loosen. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Ah. The timing chain stayed on, thankfully. <laughs> It's not a big deal. Like, it's just, you know, every once in a while you're going to forget a bolt and it happens. 
But it's nice when it doesn't happen as well. I just need to get up there a little bit. No, I don't think I can. I think I might want to bring this down now. Okay, let me see. It's kind of nice to have the lift that works really well in the game. It's not too finickety or anything. Okay, whoa. All right, okay. Let's take this off. That's unloosened. Okay, so I think we're going to have to take the alternator off. Is it, do I have the wires on the alternator right now? I do. Okay, that's probably what the problem is. Okay, there we go. Alternator off. And, oh, there we go. Water pump off. I'm going to assume I'm going to have to take the fuel pump off because, and then the fuel line is going to come off. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, I gotta get these two bolts here. There we go. Oh wait a minute, I'm missing a. Did I miss a bolt? Oh, there it is. Okay, then I'm missing. I'm missing several bolts apparently. Oh, there we go. There it is. All right, let's see. Uh, put you on here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, 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 see, I didn't want to drop that. Where, where to put my, oh, there's my cover. Perfect. Now we should probably, I don't think there's a performance camshaft as near as I can tell. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Um, but let's check for other performance parts before we start doing anything else here. So we're going to go engine. We're going to go to this. We're going to go to the BART. We have a camshaft, crankshaft, block. No, 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 no. We want the V8. Boom. V8. Okay, here we go. Crankshaft, block. So we can get, like, the performance cylinder heads and all that. Exhaust pipe right. Exhaust pipe left. Camshaft. Yeah, like, there's all sorts of crap here, but... Let me see. We're going to want a five-speed gearbox, 100%. And that's already going to cost us an arm and a leg. There's a performance car, but I really want the six pack because that just looks cool as heck, but that's going to take up a lot of our money. And we also need a six pack manifold, which is probably not very cheap either. <laughs> so <laughs> the intake manifold, there's the one we got. There's a six barrel carb set up there. Six barrel intake there. We also have performance heads. So laser performance heads aren't that expensive. So we're going to buy those. We're going to buy the intake for the six. We're going to buy that. Oh, we don't have enough for that. Okay. Well, we can get these on there and then we can sell off the old parts and get money for those. So we're going to leave all this front dressing off for now <sighs> until like, okay, look, dude. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's get the head off. Uh, well, we might want to remove the headers first. There we go. There we are. Are there performance ones? I don't even know. Okay, can I pull this off without? Oh yeah, there's the um, the rockers. I forgot about the rockers. I always forget these are like uh, shaft rockers, right? This is what. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we are. The real question becomes: Do they have better rockers? Uh, God, I wish you could really search that stuff, but you can't, and that sucks. Okay, this header can come off. Oh, the whole exhaust came off of that. All right, cool. <laughs> that, that works as well. Why is the car bouncing? I don't like that. That's a little bit terrifying. Look, I just got done doing your body work, bud. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now, how are the head gaskets on either side? This one just fell off, but that's not a big deal. We'll put that back on. There we go. And we'll put this one back on. Okay. Pistons look good. All right. So we have the performance heads, but I'm going to have to worry about the rocker. Which one's this one? Uh, right head. Okay, there we go. And I'll put this on here. Bam. And then we'll get the other one. We're going to have to definitely concern ourselves with a few things here, okay? Um, do they have performance uh, roller rockers for this? Because inquiring minds would like to know. <laughs> we, we would really like to know these things. All right, here we go. Let's see here now. We're getting all these in. We can. I think we can scab. Well, we can probably just buy new spark plugs too, but 
Probably scavenge the spark plugs of the old heads. But every time I try to take spark plugs out of the heads, once I got the head off, it just never works out. So I guess we'll see. Now, let's look at rocker shafts. Is it just all one? Is there performance ones? Like a, like a higher lift on them or something? Like a 1.7 or something like that, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Rockers, rockers, rockers. Yeah, we have rockers there. I don't see anything that's like a performance rated rocker. Like a scorpion or something would be cool. All right, so we don't have those. That's fine. So we will just reuse these. Save us a few bucks. There's one. And then what's this one for? This is the right head. All right, cool. And then we'll throw all this junk in the car and then run it down to the uh, pawn shop. See if we can get a couple hundred bucks for it. All right, so that's that. And we'll take this off. There we go. Off you come. This is such a fun project car. It's going to be like my... My PAs de resistance. Okay. And I want to stand up, please. We're going to tighten these. We're going to put this on here like such. And here we go. All right. So there, that works. Um, so let's, while we're here, let's just drop that for a second. We're going to take this. Is there, a, is there a performance fuel pump? That would be nice to know. Oh, yeah. We got some crap in here we can get rid of. Nice. But these heads can go. Where's the intake? Did I, oh, I already got rid of the intake because it was all rusty. Never mind. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, you know what? Let's get rid of these. We'll get new spark plugs because I don't feel like going around and looking at new spark plugs, and you probably should replace your spark plugs. So let's see. Um, what was I doing? Intake manifold we need. Well, we have the uh, we have the intake manifold. We just can't afford the carburetor setup. So we can put that on. Um, we're going to also check for a new fuel pump, too. We want to see if the fuel... Oh, okay, that was a little... That's a, okay, you know what, you dink. Get, okay, stand up. All the way up, please. Thank you. I just want to... I just want to tighten you up. Oh, I'm so close to you. What? Jesus, this is, this, is, this is uncomfortable. This is public? I would be like, dude, back up six feet. Social distancing. All right, give me this. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Bam. Oh, bam, bam. Bam. It's so weird he can like look through the car. <laughs> I find that just hilarious. Okay, here we go. There we go. That can go down. Is this one down? Yep. That one's down. Right? I think we're good everywhere else. Why are you rocking back and forth like that? That is nothing but disturbing to me. Oh, look, there's the rust on the inside edge there. Mm. You know, I kind of like it. We're going to leave it. All right. So we also need, well, the, the valve covers don't matter, but let's see. What else do we need here? <clears throat> We're going to need an air cleaner. Put our alternator back on. I don't think we need much more, honestly, um, unless there's a performance coil. I don't see anything else performance, like the exhaust maybe. <laughs> New gas tank's fine. Okay. I think we're good here. From the performance, every everything else looks fine. Um, it doesn't have a torque converter for some reason. No matter what transmission you're using, it comes with a uh, clutch. So we're not worried about that. Okay, so no, there's no performance distributor, fuel pump, just a regular fuel pump, oil filter, starter. Yeah, everything else looks pretty normal other than the exhaust. So it's really just buying that performance. Uh, six barrel setup which we can't quite afford so let's go run down our spare parts i think we're gonna need a new belt i think should we run our spare parts we should probably run our spare parts down right okay we got this all right let's get out of here let's go run these down this has got to be worth 20 or 30 bucks of cash money probably spend more in gas on this thing getting there <laughs> it's not exactly the most fuel efficient thing okay come on get in there oh yeah we should probably do the park brake on this at some point too Come on, baby. Perfect. There we go. Come on. Oh, God. It's it's so tall and so wobbly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't go in the water. It's just... It's so... It's just ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous. Okay. Let's get this off and, off and running here. Okay, put the parking brake on. Put these back down in neutral so it doesn't roll away. Thank you. Perfect. Let's see here. Oh, this also got spark plugs in it. So, oh, that's 96 bucks. That's not bad. Well, oh, we should be able to afford it now. <sighs> 96 bucks. Nice. Okay. 
take this old beat up transmission, get zero dollars for it. Nice, beautiful. What, why do I have this in here? Oh, that's from the four cylinder. That's why. It's 14 bucks. Anything else in here? Uh, I don't see anything else. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, perfect. Also, I'd like to get a tra What is a trailer worth? Because you can get a winch in a trailer, which is awesome, which means we could go tow other cars out. 3rd gear seems to be the sweet spot for this piece of garbage. Okay, okay. Yep, just just turn it in here a little bit. There we go. Cuz we got a trailer hitch on this, so we might be able to go pick up other cars. At least that's what I'm figuring. Let's go see what a trailer is worth cuz I want the flatbed trailer, I think, with the with a with the Okay, here we go. Let's just just, just stop here. Going to leave you running. It will sure only be a second. Don't worry. I left the door open so the dog can breathe. Now what do we got here? What do we got? I think they added a winch to the game. Oh, this is, there it is right there. Winch for 235 bucks. Oh, toolboxes. Oh my God, this is sweet. Welders over here. They got so much better crap in the store. All right, so what is this trailer worth? We got three of them. I want this flatbed, 3,900 bucks. Well, we're not buying that today. Okay, <laughs> that's not happening. All right, let's uh, take this off. I'm gonna just start it in third gear keep it easy this thing is a hoot to drive though i will say that much like it's it's stupid and it really should just put the four banger in this but but anything i can put a v8 in i generally probably will <laughs> just because i'm that kind of guy all right let's see well it depends like i'm not gonna like ruin a classic like super or something with it but all right what do we got here Oh, you're at the fuel line. You're fine. All right. So I think we're good. I think we have enough money to buy the carburetor setup. Now, the real problem is going to be we're not going to have enough money for a transmission yet. Like, not even close. But we're going to have to figure that out. All right. So let's get this on. Ooh. Sorry, I had to cut the video there. I had a big cough suddenly. All right, here we go. Okay, let me see here. Um. Oh, yeah, we're going to need valve covers. <laughs> Can we afford the valve covers? Probably not. No, we cannot. Um, so we're going to do some work today, I think. Once we get all this on there. <sighs> let's get the... Oops, there we go. Okay, perfect. Right, let's get the engine built down as far as we can get it. And then... Oh, here we go. You know, what's funny. I know my stepfather, if he watches this, is going to be going the same thing. Like, he'll be laughing at the fact that, you know, all of us know the guy with the car that's in primer that, you know, runs great, but never, uh, never finished the body on it. <laughs> Okay, perfect. That can go there. All right, perfect. And then we can get, where is it? Oh, there, oh, there it is. Fuel pump can go on. Uh, perfect. Where did I put my wrench? There it is. All right, tightening up here. And there. It's, it's, I feel like it starts wobbling more and more the more I touch it. I don't like it. Is it only on three posts or something? I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, uh, that's on. Let's get the uh, the water pump on. Hopefully, bam. Yep, that's fine. Uh, wrench, where'd you go? Hmm. Dude, what the? Oh, there it is. Jeez, I was like, where'd it go? There it goes. Okay, here we go. All right, let me see. Okay, here we are. I can barely. This is just ridiculous. Okay, that's on. That okay? Okay. On, on. It's got to have more bolts than that. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. Is there one back here? There it is. Okay, perfect. Okay. Oh, and there's one up there. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Alternator, I guess. Where are you, buddy? I dropped you on the floor somewhere. Um. Alternator, where'd you go, bud? Did I kick you around or something? There you are. Kicked around right underneath the thing. This is why I don't like leaving parts all over the ground for very long, because... They start to uh, kind of get lost because you start kicking them around. You don't know you've kicked them around. And since they don't make any noise rolling across the ground, you don't realize you've kicked something. <laughs> All right, let me see. Now, where's that bottom pulley there? Oh, here we go. This is good. Okay. So the timing chain's on, right? We didn't miss the timing chain. Yeah, timing chain's on. That's good. Okay, pick this up. Put the harmonic balancer on. Tighten that down. Those are already tightened down, so we're fine there. 
put the uh, mechanical fans. You know, there's a whole great video on Engine Masters where they took some decently high-performing engines and then put a mechanical fan on them and then ran it with an off and then with an electrical fan. And there's a draw, and no joke, of like 30 horsepower from a mechanical fan like this. And that's crazy. Like, that's that's an insane amount of power you're leaving on the table. Get an electric fan. And people are like, oh, yeah, I have to worry about a mechanical fan failing. Yeah, like the the the, the fact that in, in the, the, God, what, 25 years I've owned cars, I've had zero mechanical or zero electrical fan failures on any of my cars. Yeah, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Get an electrical fan. And if you really want to do well, go find a Lincoln Mark 8. And I'm no joke here. Like, just pay attention to me. Go find a Lincoln Mark 8. And they have a dual fan setup that is incredibly good at moving air. And I'll tell you, it works. You can adapt it to anything, and it's a wonderful setup. And reliable, and it'll run for years. Now, okay, here we go. Put that on there. Okay, this is nice. Oh, this is good. Okay, perfect. Does that coil have wire? Does that coil have a wire going to it? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're fine there. This coil's got a wire. We're okay. No, it doesn't. Why does that have a wire? Oh, yeah, wrong thing. Okay, so that's on there. Um, What else do we need? Well, we got to put the fuel line back on, obviously, but that's not a huge, but it's like one bolt. So we're going to pick this up, <clears throat> go in here, and we're sticking on there, right there, and then take this. Oh, can I see it behind the alternator? It's going to be a pain. Oh, there it is. Tighten you down. Oh, yeah. Tighten you down. Nice. All right. Perfect. Um, Let me see. So that engine's as built as I think we can get it to. At the moment, well... Obviously, I can put the wires and crap on it, but, and the, you know, we'll put the headers back on. And our one decent exhaust pipe, which I think we're going to get rid of and go with the side exhaust. What do you guys think? think we, are we a side exhaust kind of guy is now? Is, that, is this what we want? Uh, I think that's what we want, right? So maybe I'll disconnect that tailpipe and not worry about it for now. Because I feel like side pipes would be kind of cool on this piece of garbage. Okay, there's no... Oh, yeah, there we are. I can see. I was like, there's no bolts to undo. Okay, here we go. Oh. Just give me this. This is all I want. All right, here we go. Put this on here. There we go. Tighten that up. Well, once I can stand up a little bit and see it, there it is. Perfect. All right. Okay, you know what? This is going so well. <laughs> okay, if this exhaust pipe wants to live underground. That's too bad. You can't. So I'll put you in the truck for now. Um, we'll probably run you. Oh, geez. This is going to, is this going to cause damage? Uh, okay, quit wiggle wobbling. Okay. Ooh, this is, if it was going to cause damage, it has now caused it. I can tell you that right now. So let's just open this up a little bit. Okay. Can we, oh, thank you. Okay. We're going to put this down here for a second. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to balance this out a little bit. Okay. Let's just, uh, don't wiggle wobble like this. You're probably doing damage to my car, you dink. All right, so let's see. Um, that's as far as we're going to go with the car today. Well, yeah, we can put the oil pan on. Let's put the oil pan on. Why not? Why not put an oil pan on? Everybody likes a good oil pan. Okay. But we need valve covers, and we need a transmission, which we do not have. Um, oh, yeah, and obviously the air cleaner and all that, but just to get it running is not a big deal without an air cleaner, as long as you don't run it for very long. Uh, well, if the game follows reality, <laughs> it's like, if you're just going to run it for a few seconds and make sure everything's working. Yeah. You know, I've run car engines plenty of times on air cleaner. It will just not hurt them. You just don't want to idle for like two hours while you're like, I can't, this cross member is so in the way. What? Okay. Whoa. Is that? Okay. That is awkward. Okay. Here we go. I think that's all of them. All right. Perfect. Did, did we get this? Here, is this, is that hooked up, that, man, that, that ground there? I hope it's hooked up. All right. Well, no, because it won't try to start if, if that's the case. Um. So that oil pan's on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we could probably put the belt on. I think it needs a new belt. Does this, does this look like an alternator? Okay, let's look up an alternator belt, because I, I feel like it's a cheap, cheap, easy way to have some security. But not have it blow apart on us. It's only 19 bucks. Let's get a new one. Yeah. I, oh, maybe it is. No, I think it's the same color. Yeah, that's fine. Well, now we got a spare. Not a big deal. All right. So let's get this one on the spare part shelf for now. All right. So this is good. Uh, oh, geez. What's the hood doing? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> what, 
What are you doing? <laughs> what? Okay, don't do that, buddy. Did you touch the ceiling? Is that what happened? Okay. So it looks like all the lights and everything are in great shape on this piece of garbage. So I'm like inclined to just do some actual work around here because we need some money. We need some money for an air cleaner. We need some money for some valve covers and we need a thousand dollars for a transmission, which we do not have. So we need to take on cheap jobs. Is there a car washing job? Cause that's, that's super cheap and easy. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let's close this up for a second. Where's the board? Are you out here? Oh, okay, you're out here. You're fine. I just want to make sure I'm not going to, uh, Make it appear inside the garage or something's wrong with the shifting. Well, I can't do anything about the shifting, bud. Alternator looks old. I can't afford an alternator. I can't paint your car. I don't have the money for that. Um, I see something. Can you fix and repaint? You know what? I might, I'm going to take this job. I should be able to fix and repaint the part on your car. All right. How much money do we have? $67. We should be able to afford paint for $67. And it's a single part. So that's not so bad. Depends what part it is. Is it a door? It's probably a door, right? Oh, yeah. It's a door. Here we go. Done. Okay, what color are you? You are 5F666D. 5F666D. Okay, color. 5F666D. Got it. Buy that. It's kind of a nice bluey gray, actually. I like that. Let's see. Uh, and if one more person tells me I can hit I and end the job, I know. I know you can do this. I am not, I'm not a fool. I just don't like to, I like to go back and act like I'm calling the person to tell them the car's done. Is that so wrong? Is it fun that I'm having a little fun thinking, look, I'm a real mechanic. Is it, am I so wrong and enjoying myself? Don't you put your paradigms on me. All right, here we go. Something's wrong with the charging. Oh, I want to take this job, but I don't know if I got enough money. What is an alternator worth? For example, like, uh, alternate, it's 215 bucks. I can't take that job on legitimately. Can you fix the rust and repaint? I might be able to. 4,500 bucks. What? What? I can't afford this. Whatever this is, I can't afford this. I, I can't. I can't fix any rust and repaint this. Oh my God. This is, oh my God. I, what have I got myself into? Where's my, oh no. Oh no. Oh crumb bum this is not going to go well okay now i did notice one of the okay that fixed that <sighs> can we open this okay okay we only have 170 bucks like how are we going to afford to do all this okay that's where oh, oh, oh. okay here we go what i just turned the car signal lights on what Okay, well, that's fine. We can just leave those running. They're probably going to probably going to drain the battery. This I might have to cut off because these I always have a trouble with underneath. Although this one doesn't look like it's too bad underneath. Let's just have at it here and see what happens. Because I think we can fix this part without spending a ton of money. Okay, that ticking sound is going to drive me up the wall if I just leave it. But we're going to leave it to see if it does drive me up the wall. At least we can get most of the rust off like this before we have to like... Oh my god, I'm going to have to get rid of that ticking before I kill somebody. Riper switch. Where's the signal stock? Oh my God. Is it the hazard switch? Oh God. Thank you. Jeez and crackers. I thought it was going to go insane. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab this. <laughs> I think we're going to need it anyway. So let's uh, just see if we can pull that off. Body work is not my forte. Um, please drop off or something. Okay. Let me see. I'm hoping I can get the, uh, where's the, where's the jack? Where's the good jack? Oh, there it is. Just right in front of me. All right, let's get this thing under here and jack this up. 
Okay, let's do 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 just so I can get a look underneath for the the weld points. All right, let me see. Okay, there's a quite a few weld points here. There it is. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, is this the whole quarter held in by this? Okay, this will be that. This and this. Maybe that one is that. Does that extend past the lip? Okay, it probably does. Um. Okay. Oh, here we go. No, that's not it. Okay. Well, we'll take it off anyway. So what's holding you in still, bud? Is it on the inside, maybe? I don't see it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Sorry, I'm just all terribly allergy -y. Oh, okay, let me see here. Um, it wouldn't be that. It could be this. There it is. All right, cool. Okay, this is a little awkward, but this is out now. All right, so we're going to... No, we want this to go on here, please. Perfect. Okay. All right, here we go. Much easier to work on off the car, eh? <laughs> Much easier to work on off the car. Sometimes I'm just debating whether or not I should uh, just buy the whole new part and slap it on. It'd probably be faster and easier and cheaper at the end of the day. Because this still has rust on it. I wish you could inspect a part to see, like, like it'll tell you, like, rusty or something, but that's not how it works. Okay, let me see here. I feel like, what is this? Rocker panel C. I wonder, what is it worth? I'm just curious. Body for the Bart. Because I feel like the rust didn't all come off that. 74 bucks. That's not terrible. Let's buy a new one. We'll sell the old one when we're done. Uh, why does that have that on there? Mine does not. Oh, it does. There it is. And then we'll we'll just put a new one in because for seventy bucks that'll be all right. Does this does this not like to go in? Is that? Let's see, rocker panel C. Bart left rocker panel C. Chad, this is. A, wait a minute. I thought I was working on a. Oh, wait a minute. My car is a Bart. Son of a. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, you're going in the spare parts bin. All right. Well, we're going to have to sell all you guys off now. So what do I need it for? Is this a Chad? It says Chad. Yeah, I was, I was thinking I was working on my car. Crap. Chad, I need your rocker panel, buddy. I don't have enough money for paint now. <laughs> so we're going to have to do something about the paint. But beyond that, this should be relatively easy to fix. All right. We'll sell those parts off there. Okay. Let's get this over here. Uh, 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 uh. Eh, we got to also change the time of day. So we'll do that. Let me just have a little quick little snoozle on the couch here. Nope. Middle of the night. Daytime. All right. Here we go. I need one of you electrodes. All right. Here we go. Where are you? Uh, I put you down here somewhere. I have placed you upon the floor. There you are. You're just hiding on me. Okay. Let's just. I like how that door just decided to react to the situation. <laughs> you can go. All right, perfect. There we are. Okay, that's actually. Oh no! Don't! No! Don't! 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 Please! 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 No! Unstuck me. Okay, there we go. All right. We stayed calm that whole time. That's pretty amazing. Okay, now. I think that's all the welds that I can. I'm aware of. Oh, wait a minute. There's one. I saw you creeping, buddy. All right, let's uh let's leave it at this then. I don't see anything else that needs a good weld here. Okay, well that's good. All right, now we do need to repaint. Now, is there any other rust we need to know about that we don't know about? I don't see a ton here, so let's just see. Um 0613 
0613. Let's see. Color. Oh, we can't do it. 061301, was it? Was that right? Okay, that is a green. It's a dark green. Um, Let's run down 061301. 061301. Because that is the right color, but we don't have enough money. So let's run down this part here and that part there. And hopefully that'll just kind of stay in here while we do this. Because it's our only option at this point to get paint. Um, so just please don't fall out of the car. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for much, bud. Let's just take it easy. We'll go sell off the exhaust. If we have to sell a few parts off the off the off the Bart, it's not a big deal. So you can finish this job for forty five hundred bucks. I'd pretty much sell my firstborn child. So that's fine. Um, thank God I didn't have any children, or they would have been sold by now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The stepdaughter's count. Can I sell my step? Maddie, are you watching? Because if you're watching, I'm going to have to sell you off to a Ford parts for an imaginary car in a video game. Okay, let's just... Oh, oh, the parking brake was on the whole time. Stop, please. Stop, please. Stop, please. I like this. I can drive with the parking brake on, though. That's fun. Okay. Okay, neutral. Excellent. These parts survived. First of all, we're going to get rid of this. Get 39 bucks for that. So that way you can afford paint. And then this, 113 bucks, perfect. Okay, that solves some of our problems. We did waste a bit of money, but that's pretty normal for us in this game. So <laughs> that's fine. All right, let's, uh, there's also stuff around the map I can go find if I really need money. I really want to go on that adventure, but I've been really focused on getting this car done. Okay, here we go. The brakes are good on this, unlike a lot of games I play. <laughs> All right, let's just turn this off and get to work on that. All right, perfect. Now, does anybody else see any rust? Because it said I needed to fix the rust. That was it, right? It was just repaint, rust and repaint. That was that was it? Just double check this. Can you fix the rust and repaint? Yeah, I can. But it seems... This seems too easy for $4,500. Does that... Do you know what I mean? Let's close this up here. Let's see. All right, here we go. Okay, because that covers that paint there. There's a little bit right here. We'll get that. Let's get that. Close this roof down, or roof, lid, or trunk. Oh, my God. Bonnet, depending where you live. I prefer trunk because that makes more sense to me, but. Did I miss a spot of rust right there? Is that is that rust? That might be rust still. Yeah, I think we still have a little bit of rust here. Okay, where's my where's my thing? I can't believe I missed that. How did I miss that? Is it because it's a dark color? Okay, let's get that rust. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now, it doesn't look great. It says I'm never done on these jobs, though. See, and that's the part that always gets me is that, like, oh, here we go. Here we go. I didn't even, th I always forget to check this dang thing. All right, let's pull the bumper off because that makes it much easier to to see that front panel. And then we can repaint that as well. Let's see. I always forget the friggin' I don't know what it is about this front fascia that I always just forget. All right, let's just pull you off. Oh, yeah, look at this rusty-ass mess. Okay, here we go. Going to go clean you up. All right, buddy, let's see what you got. Show me what you got. All right. There we go. The problem with these painting jobs that I don't like is how time-consuming they can be. They're incredibly time-consuming. Now, normally they don't pay this well, so it's like, geez, I don't... For $700, spending 20 minutes of my time working on something in this game? I don't think so. But, you know, we need the money right now, and $4,500 is nothing to sneeze at. So... We're going to attempt to do it. Okay, there we go. This looks better. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 okay, there we go. Jeez, I couldn't grab that. <laughs> it's, it's that weird three-time pickup thing. Okay, yeah, 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 just paint this on there. Okay, there we go. This is better, right? Are we good here? Yeah, okay. So what are you saying, bud? Okay, so I did fix the... Oh, wait a minute. Is that still showing through? There we go. Let's put this back on. 
And then we'll check the job to see if it's completed. And there's one. And then where's the other part? Oh, 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 I had it. There we go. Let's see. No, we're still not done. So what do we think it is? Is it the inside here? Is it a floor panel that's rusted out? Trunk? No, that's all good. Oh, wait a minute. Is the inside of this? I don't know. Let me see. Okay, let me see here. I think I feel like I've I've gotten all the rust off this. You know what I could check is under the headliner there might be rust. Do I have parts off here? I don't know about no, I just can't fix it, repair it, rust and re, rust repaint. Like right here looks a little bit weak on the paint, but it doesn't look like like, the game's not that specific about how close to paint job we got to do. Should I regrind that and repaint it, maybe? Ugh, let me just regrind. All right, let's... Dude, pick it up. Okay, go, okay. Let me see. Let's just regrind the whole area. And then we'll we'll just paint it up. That looks better. Still not it. I'm wondering if I should pull the uh, the door cards and stuff, maybe see what's going on behind that, because I'd really rather not do the headliner. That's a pain. But if that's what it takes, what? where's the, how do you get this door panel off? Oh, here we go. What are we looking at? Nope, that looks nice. Okay, put that back on. Gotta look for hidden rust now, I guess. Ow! <laughs> okay. Listen, jerk. I don't have time for your crap. All right, let me see. Loosen. Is we loosening here? Okay, nope. This looks good back there. Huh. All right, let's pull the headliner. What do we got up here? All right, let's pull those off. Where's my screwdriver? There's always a chance it's just something I can't see, right? So. Oh, God, just just get it. Can you get in the car or something, maybe? Okay, we'll get in from the other side. Oh, my God, this is so stupid. Okay. Let me just in here. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this, is this, I see rust. Oh, you sneaky bastard. You sneak, you sneaky bastard. I'm trying to sneak around unrusting or no, re I don't know how it works now. Why can I? I wonder if I pop the window. It might be easier if I pop the window. Where's my tools? <laughs> Just get the, I want this $4,500 if it kills me. Where's my thing? There it is. All right, here we go. Just out here, just taking this car apart. <sighs> Give me this window. I want you so hard. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm probably going to break it by walking on it or something, but I don't care. All right, where's my where's my grind door? There it is. Why why can't I just do that here? Please tell me I'm not gonna have to remove the whole roof to get at that. Oh my god. Oh okay, I got it. I think I got it. I think that's it. It didn't leave a mark on the inside too badly, thankfully. So let's just, where's my paint? Let's give it a courtesy spray here. Yeah, well, I think we're good there. All right, let's, uh, 
It had to be on that spot in the roof I can never reach, like, no matter what I do. Oh, my God. It's just so stupid. Just let me do it. Yeah. I'm going to run out of paint in this thing. Okay. Now, let's put the headliner back in. All this. All right, I got to put, where's this thing? Put this thing back in. Mirrors back in. I need my screwdriver. Give me this, please. Thank you. Going to get in here. Tighten you up. Perfect. Put the windshield back in. Perfect. Are we done now, please? I'm not done. Son of a... Okay. Okay. All right. What What am I missing? What am I missing? I can't... This is why I don't do these. This is why I don't do these. What other hidden rust do you have for me, baby? What other spots do you... I gave you a whole new rocker panel. Where is this rust? I thought maybe like it could be a floorboard or something's rotted out, but I don't... I don't see anything like that. Is it on the sill here? I don't see it here either. Back side of the doors? No. It wasn't under the headliner. I'm I'm at a loss, to be honest. Like Huh. Well. Let's, can I just, okay, let me try something here. All right, let me see. I don't see anything back there. Or do I? Hang on, let me see. I see no rust back here. Dude, is that what I said? Did I say open that? No, I did not. No, just, just get in here. Okay, there's no rust back there. There, okay. I'm at a loss, boys. I don't... I don't see any of it. Let's... Okay, let's pull the rear bumper to double check that. What? Wait a minute. What are you? Are you my oil? Is this why it's freaking out? Because I, I pulled the oil filter by accident? What side is the oil filter on this? It's got to be this side, right? I honestly don't remember what side the oil filter's on on this thing. And I don't see the hole for it. Oh, there we go. Complete. Done. Oh, excellent. Okay. 4,500 bucks now. Oh my God. That's so much cooler. Okay. Some reason I always pull the oil filters off and I don't know why here. You can have that. All right. We got a lot of, uh, bits and bobs out here in the yard. <laughs> Let's get rid of this paint. Okay. So I got 4,500 bucks, which is great, but still like that was like 20 or 30 minutes. I want to do, I don't want to sit there for 20 or 30 minutes doing that. That sucks. Okay. I make that much in my real job every day. Now, let's put you in here for now. Okay, let's just get the stuff picked up. <sighs> I wish I made that much. Now, I don't know what I... Honestly, if I was rich, I wouldn't know what to do. That's why I always joke if I got YouTube rich. I always say that. If I'm YouTube rich, I'm going to do this. Honestly, I wouldn't know what to do if I was rich. I'm so used to always, like, you know, scraping pie and, and doing my best to save money and, and all this stuff that I don't think much would change. <laughs> I'm a cheap man. I'm very cheap. I like people say, well, you own a, you own this really expensive computer. Well, yeah, but that's cause it, it helps me with this. But if I didn't need it to do this, I would be like, no, I'm not going to spend that much money. I don't need this kind of rig. <laughs> but It is what it is. Okay. Now we can bring this down and now we have some coin. Ah, 
to do some of this. Okay, so we got a... Uh, oh, we want the transmission. The valve covers, for sure. So let's go engine, and we'll get performance valve covers, because that's sweet. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just an upper hose. Okay, let me see. Performance valve cover. Oh, there it is. Right, left, air cleaner. Okay, we need this, this, and... Is there a performance one for the six barrel, or is that it? I don't think there is a performance one. Excellent. Six barrels are just cool as crap. That's why that's why you want six barrel carbs. Okay. Three deuces is cool as heck. <laughs> that's just just one of the it's so hard to tune, but once you get it in, it just looks baller, man. Okay. Oh, just the wrong side again. Okay, here we go. Put that in. Okay, where's my oh there it is. Bloop. I wonder whatever happened to my other wrench. I'm still kind of miss that wrench. That was a good wrench. I liked it. It was it was a good. It was a V series craftsman. It was really nice. Okay, let me see here. Put this on. Now let's know what this car's got. More power, baby. Okay. Put that on there. And then we Okay, we're getting stuck on the wall. We're gonna put the base on. Put this base on here. Oh, oh, there it is. Nope. Okay. There it is. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Put this on there and that on there. And where to put the air filter? Oh, I kicked it out here. Okay, well that's fine. Bam. Okay. Yeah, six packs are cool. I don't care what anybody says. It's cool as shit. I understand you can get better performance. But there's just something really cool about it. Perfect. Okay. All right. It needs spark plugs, and it needs a transmission. So let's get, let's buy the transmission. Let's see a five-speed. Yep, five-speed for a V8, and it's a BART. Not that that probably matters here, but just in case. We'll bring this out here. I think I still got to change the pot in the rear end, maybe. Did I ever change that? It looks like it's just an open diff. So I want to get a, a some sort of traction lock diff in there. So let's look for... Is it under... What is it under? Is it under suspension? Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't know they added more diffs. Oh, we're going to get four six. This is going to be a... This is going to be an acceleration machine. All right. It's locked. Yes. Okay, let's get this up. Up we go. And then we're going to remove the rear pot there and get the diff out. And then, oh, come on. There we go. Because it, oh, it's already gone. Already got rid of it. Nice. Perfect. Let's get you up in there. Oh, nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. It's going to be a drag machine by the time I'm done. She'll be a drag queen 100%. Now, you tighten, you're tightened. You are, you are there. Perfect. Okay. Now we got a diff in there and then we can put the drive shaft back on once we put the transmission in place, which is right here that I've kicked around. I don't know how you kick around a whole transmission, but without breaking your feet, but that's okay. <laughs> we can live with that. All right. Let me see. So we just have you, and you, and then you and you. Perfect. And then where's the starter? There it is. Starter can go up. <sighs> What size the starter go on? Right there. Perfect. Okay. Yep. There. There. And then. I got to get that. <sighs> Wired out. Okay. Perfect. All right. Transmission is in. <sighs> we have left we have front brakes and stuff uh drive shaft obviously oh wait a minute i didn't do the full transmission in yet we got to do the cross member escape you silly billy what are you doing bud okay here we go there 
All right, and then we got to put an exhaust on it so it's not so loud that we can't handle it. Ugh. People always like a loud exhaust, and I'm always like it attracts cops. <laughs> That's not not that I not that I don't like a decent sounding exhaust, but super loud anymore? No way. It's been too much time getting uh, copped. All right, let's see. Uh, engine. So well, where's our okay? So we have exhaust systems here. Okay. Right, left. These are what we wanted, right? These and these. You are the... What, what side are you? You are the left side pipe. So this will give us side pipes, right? Yep, just like the, the Neve. All right, here we go. Put this on here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, there it is. Now, side pipes are kind of lame, but it gives you a nice, cheap, free-flowing exhaust. And... uh when you touch it the first time wearing shorts and it sticks out just a wee bit too far, yep, <laughs> you trust me. So we touch a lawnmower muffler the first time. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's on there. So what else do we need? Oh, we need to put the distributor back in probably. That would be smart. It's funny how they don't want to run without their distributors in them. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Okay. Freaking rear distributors, God. Terrible design. Okay, um, oh, wait a minute. Is it a screw that holds that down there? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Is it a screw that's holding this in? No, we're good. Here, let's get that in there. There we go. It'd be cool if you could ever adjust the timing. That would be neat. All right. To advance or retard the timing. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't put that on yet. We need spark plugs. So let's bring our box in. <sighs> Where's our spark plugs here? Um, spark plugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, nice. And we're just going to plop these all in my box. And then we will take the box over to the car, and that way we don't have to run back and forth like I classically do, which I actually prefer because <laughs> I think it's funny, but you know what? People get annoyed, so we're just going to do this, and in you go. All right. You all settled? All right, perfect. Here we go. So we're going to need our spark plug wrench, obviously, but let's get them all in there first. <sighs> oh, I had it. Where'd it go? Oh, there's one. Yeah, I never liked the rear, like Chevy does that too with the rear uh, distributor like that. I hate that. It just makes it a bear to work on. <sighs> Especially in old cars where you're doing a lot more at distributors than on the newer ones when they went injected. You don't have to do it as much. But, uh, you know, they, sometimes they get under the cowl and you'd have to, like, drop the engine just to get at it. And it's a pain. Like, it's just I don't understand. But, you know, it's it's not any better or any worse in a sense of performance. Like, pff. really, like, if you actually are honest about how cars are built, um, given the same numbers of stuff, uh engines make about the same power and you can see this because i saw a whole thing once where they're doing a test between a 351 chev or a ford and a 350 chev and you know they made sure to match the heads so they were roughly the same airflow and all this like they used an aftermarket head so they could kind of dial it in and all this stuff and it ends up that oh no can i not there we go you know airs move uh, engines move air that's all right the big air pumps right and at the end of the day the amount of air you can move and the size of the interior of the engine is what really matters. And these things were for the interior dimensions and stuff were nearly identical and make the almost identical amount of power within, you know, within the, within the noise. So like, you know, an engine's an engine. That's why I don't, I'm not, that's why I'm pretty brand agnostic and I don't care. Cause it's like, you, once you learn this stuff, it's like, Oh, so me being brand specific means nothing. <laughs> so like it doesn't, it doesn't actually do anything except make you look stupid. All right, well, let's uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. And anybody who thinks reliability is a thing, I'll just tell you right now, reliability is a myth, and everybody makes garbage. <laughs> that's just that's just it. Everybody makes trash. It's all garbage. Okay, where's the? There it is. Perfect. I wonder why that one fell off when the other one didn't. Huh. Interesting. 
Okay, this can go here. Oh, yeah, I never did check the brake lines to see if they're any good. Let's get this up. I want this up. Let me see. See, I've never worried about reliability and stuff. It's like people are like, oh, that car is not reliable. Eh. <laughs> I've owned plenty of what are supposedly unreliable cars and never had a major issue. All right, let me see. Then I've had some ones that are considered super reliable and had plenty. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I saw you. There you are. Oh, dude, I see you. I, I I had you. I could see the little nubbin. Give me the nubbin. There it is. All right, let's tighten, tighten this down here. Let's put this on. Boop and boop. And then you can come with me. And... Oh, oh, I had it. There we go. Boop and boop. Okay, so that's that. Should we put the tires back on? Oh, no, I took the tires off. Crap. Okay, well, we're going to need wheels and stuff, but I think we should try to get... Do I have a battery? That's a really good question. I do have a battery. That's good. <laughs> I was starting to worry. Okay, let me see here. Now... We don't know if this is going to run until we try to fire it up. There's there's no reason it shouldn't run. Other than there's no... Well, wait a minute. I never Did I pull the fuel tank? I don't remember. Is there any fuel in it? Let's just see. Oh, she runs. Oh, nice. Runs well. Fired right up. So now all we need is a set of wheels and tires. Put some gas in her and go for a rip. How much fuel is in this thing? Uh, about a quarter tank. So, it's kind of white interior. I kind of like that. <laughs> right. Keep it out for white panels, I guess. So now we got to go buy a set of wheels for it. There we go. <sighs> Okay, wheels. Okay, let's take the truck over. Or whatever this monstrosity is. We call it a truck? Do we what do we call this? The blue bomber, redux. And okay, hey, dude, I just want just please let me in my car. Is that alright with you? Can I get in my goddamn car, please? Thank you. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just turn you on. I don't know why you put the ignition on the left hand side like that. That's weird, but sure. Dawn of day two, everybody loves it. Okay, whoa, don't hit a wall. This is so narrow here now. He's trying to cause accidents, you know it. Oh, God, parking brake's on, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just being stupid. How much fuel do I got? Lots. Stay on. We're not going to be long. Now, I'm thinking, see, those are the classic wheels right there, right? The 15-inch. But then you see these, like, torque thrust knockoffs, and that's kind of neat. But then the question is, do you want to go with a bigger wheel to a 16? Everything here is a 15 or a 16. I said we go classic, and we got four of these. And then we need four 15-inch tires. What's the most expensive tire? What What's the difference here? What's L and HW? High wear? <laughs> maybe i don't know okay we're gonna buy these though because these are the most expensive so i'm gonna assume the most expensive tires are the performance tires so we're gonna try to jam all this in the back of this tiny little lot of here dude come on dude <laughs> pick it up thank you holy crap this game sometimes so i to punch it viking i love your game but jeez swear to god it's got scapegoat frustration written all over it all right, here we go. Love your game, though. Seriously, bud. It, this whole game is amazing to me. Oh, can I just pick it up, please? So I'm not knocking your game. I'm knocking my... I go too fast. That's my problem. So we're going to put these torque thrust knockoffs on. It was very, very popular at the time to have American racing torque thrusts on every 60s car. So we're going to do that. We may even get a custom plate one day if it wasn't $25,000 million. Now, let me in here. Okay, okay. Just, dude. Thank you. Sit down here. Take this parking brake off. We'll put this in first. I kind of miss having all the traffic always outside my door causing problems. Oh, 
Okay, let's just pull this on in right here. A little further ahead. Excellent. Okay, take this on here. And then off. Where's the ignition? There. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we got two V8s. We still need a, a runaround rig, which is going to be a thing at some point. Uh, because I liked having Bondo Bob there. Wait, why wouldn't you go on the thing? There you go. Bondo Bob was great uh, in my one of my series before I, I lost my save game. He was he was just damaged and dinged up, and I didn't care. Did it work? Oh, it did. Nice. Okay, here we go. Boop. Uh, see, that's not too bad. It's a little small, in my opinion. I'm not sure if I like it, honestly. But let's get them all. It's going to be too small. The wheels are going to be too small. I think I need to get a bigger wheel but it'll suffice for now until i can uh figure out what i want to do because those those look awfully small and there's not a lot of tra there's not a lot of uh profile on these tires so they're kind of like a low profile 15 which to me is more of a small car thing so we'll just put these on the front just so we can get it out for a drive See if she works. Oh, yeah, the parking brake. Did we ever put a parking brake on this thing? <laughs> Who knows? This may not even have a parking brake on it. Dude. Uh, wait a minute. I don't even think there's oil in it. We should probably put oil in it. Before we damage something. Okay, let me see. Where's the dipstick? Is it the other side? I always forget. I'm going to need two things of oil. Dude, where's the dipstick? I always misplace the dipstick on this thing, and then I can't find it for 20 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Right there. No oil. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Put the dipstick back in. Yeah, so we better put some oil on it. Now everybody's going to freak out that I ran it without oil. It's not going to hurt it for a couple of minutes. Well, not a couple of minutes, but for the amount of time I ran it, it's not going to hurt it. So let me see. Uh, oil. Oil. Let's go put these in. All right, excellent. Oh, there we go. Oh, geez. Give me this. Dude, come here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, God, my nose is itchy suddenly. Okay, here we go. Put this oil in. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm on board with this. Uh, these tires on here, these wheels. They're, like, really small, and I feel like they need to fill the wheel, fill, fill the wheel wells out better. Jesus. Struggling here. So we may have to buy something else, but just take it out for a rip. This should... Uh, Oh, God, we're having frame rate problems. Okay, here we go in there. There, we're filling it up. Just, no, no, stop moving. There we go. Perfect. This will put oil in there, and this is good. Are we good here, bud? Are we, are we doing all right? Is this happy? Are we happy? Does this make you happy? Does this bring joy? All right, here we go. Let's thank you, Maria Kondo. All right, let's get the other one. Put that in there. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure I like the size of that. I think I need a bigger tire. Um, maybe it's just the profile of the tires I bought. Or maybe I bought a low-profile tire. Maybe I can go get a fatter tire. I'm not sure if that's how it works. I don't, I've don't. i never really checked out the tires that closely before, so we're going to figure it out, though. Okay. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, it doesn't say filling. There it is. Oh, no, no, you have to be, you, you want to be filling right now, bud. There you go. So maybe there's a higher profile tire I can get because that those look terrible on there with that low profile tire on that. Now don't get me wrong, I like a look at looking low profile tire. I like that look. Uh it's just these are too small of a rim to have that lower profile tire on it. But to make it drive, it'll do. All right, let's back these out of here. Let's see if this transmission actually functions. See what's not hooked up, like last time when we couldn't steer and it was hilarious. Okay. Pistol shifter, Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. All right, let's turn this on. All right. Okay. Here's the parking brake maybe holding it. Okay, well, it doesn't want to go anywhere, probably because... I don't have a clutch, maybe? <laughs> Wait a minute, did I, did I put the drive shaft back in, right? Uh, 
Okay, well, hang on a sec. Turn this up. What did I miss? Okay, this can go in here. Oh, the tires are super flat. There's that, but it, that's not going to keep it from going somewhere. Let's get the tires pumped up, too, while we're here. But, yeah, no, I ran out of time, so I can't diagnose it. I must have the clutch maybe shot or something. Oh, I can't really see if it's on the ground. If it's not on the ground, I can't really see if it's got enough air, but I guess we're going to have to take a stab at it and guess. All right. So what, what did I miss? I must have missed something on the transmission. Or maybe the, like I said, maybe the clutch is shot and I just didn't notice. I'm pretty sure I had a clutch in there. Maybe I didn't. That's all hooked up. That's good. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with the clutch then. I thought the clutch was on there already. Maybe I just missed it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll check it out next time I come in. We'll fix that problem. And then we'll take it for a rip because I got to go. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe or your horse. Um, and we'll pull this at transmission and see about the clutch next time. So thank you again. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. It's done. It just needs to be able to fucking move. Out.